Hey! Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to a really odd angle for the camera to be at. So we're going to try making volcanoes and it's a reaction between acids and alkalis. So for this we are using uh, white vinegar, distilled malt vinegar this is. And there's only a little about, about 100ml left in this bottle. So that's all you're going to need. Now, I don't think you should be doing this inside. Hmm. I really do think you should do this outside. The only reason I'm doing this inside is because it's dark out now and it's late at night. And I have to record this. So I'm recording it indoors and I'm hoping it doesn't get too messy because I'm going to have to clean the whole kitchen. And I don't like cleaning. Okay, so to it we're going to add a little couple of drops of red food dye. Not too much. This has gone quite thick because it's out of date, so I couldn't eat it. So I'm using it to colour my experiment. Um, we're going to add a couple of drops of washing up liquid. Other brands are available. I'm just going to mix these together so that we end up with one liquid. So we've given the bottle a little shake and we've put it in a bowl to catch any of the stuff that spills out. You won't necessarily have to do this if you do it outside. I'm hoping not to have to clean too much of my kitchen. And what I've done is I've rolled some paper into the cone. You could probably put some zelly tape on that. But I'm going to just wedge it into here and that should hold it for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two teaspoons baking powder into it. And then I can shake the cone to get it all in. So let's go with one, two, See how much of a reaction I get out of that. I'm going to get another little mix and hopefully it should come out of the bottle. I might want to put some more in. Should I put another one in? I think I should. So three and four. And it's not all gone down. If you look down the little funnel, you would see, uh, or if I could show you, it wouldn't be all the way into the liquid yet. <laughs> what you don't get to see is it's coming down the wrong side away from my camera, but there it is. My volcano reaction. Build it inside a paper mache volcano style. Uh, it's still going. And then put our ingredients into it and then mix them together so we get proper lovely foamy lava running down the outside of our volcano. And it's still going. And I don't think that bill is going to be big enough. I really don't. Still going. So it's slow going, but it's still creating foam, and it could do that probably for quite a while until it's consumed all the vinegar. So there you go, you've got a nice little volcano lava flow made out of bicarbonate, uh, made out of baking powder and vinegar. <laughs>